The grungy Y2K style streetwear is super popular right now, especially when you see it really big on the back of a, a dark hoodie or a dark t-shirt or something like that. So I'm gonna teach you exactly how you can make your own in Kittle using our distressed grungy screen printed style fonts and illustrations we recently uploaded to Kittle. Now, if you're new to Kittle, that's our online design tool and you can sign up for free. I'd love for you to give it a try for free using the link down in the description. And then you can even follow along with me in this tutorial so let's get started all right i have this reference here from a pretty famous band and we're going to use this kind of grungy distorted look for our y2k streetwear now i'm going to go ahead and change the background to a darker kind of olive uh maybe kind of like sort of militaryish green really dark green uh, or a pastel green so to speak because we already know we kind of want to put this design on this kind of color hoodie uh, which should be easy enough to find whether you're doing it on print on demand or you're just going to screen print it yourself and we are going to find some illustrations over in the illustrations panel and then if we go to y2k you can see we've recently added a lot more of these distressed kind of half tonish uh, old screen printed faded style which is what we want to go for which is really really nice these are super cool and you can check these out on your own time of course we're going to go with this illustration of this lady with the four eyes which is pretty epic i think it looks pretty cool the way it is it's definitely representative of this kind of indie grunge uh, old streetwear ish style now we're going to get rid of the fill of course because again as a printed look we're just going to go with uh, obviously solid colors and then we want the color of the background to be you know whatever fill it is of course now we're going to talk about adding some color interest later so we're going to get started with our text you can hit t to add text quickly and then if we go over into the text settings we have a new font called distro in here which is really really cool and we have several uh, boldnesses or, or they're not really boldnesses they're kind of like different styles so we have some that are labeled different things because they'll do different things and and they bleed out a little bit more so here you can see in this black and the bold one they're super super bleed heavy and then with this regular one we kind of get different shapes different thicknesses for for different letters so this is what we're going to go with and we're going to go with a uh, we're going to go with a slogan that's like paradise now or paradise is now and I'm just going to uh, speed up through this process of course because you can you could play with your type and do it any kind of different way so now we have paradise is now and we're using a couple of different uh, you know weights for this layout because we want it to look really distressed and then I'm using the transformation the custom transformation over here in the right to make it look like these letters were placed maybe with a stencil or something like that just to give them extra distorted look the kind of extra grungy look because we definitely want to drive that look home we want to drive this kind of again very screen printed stencily style graffiti style almost if you will uh, so then what i'm going to do is go over here into the abstract shapes and i love the scribble category there are so many different things here so let's use this one and we're going to create like uh, we're going to create a little halo here so i'm going to size this up a little bit bigger uh, size that the way that it is and then what we're going to do is uh, grab some of these halftone illustrations that we've recently uploaded. They're more like elements or pieces. Uh, they're all vector, by the way, easy to use. And we're going to give it this uh, halftone effect, this very old style screen printed effect, because, you know, we're not really, we're not showing you any kind of gradient look. We're, we're using this to kind of symbolize this, this gradiated effect here. So I'm going to add a couple of these, just zoom through that. And then what we're going to do is use this Hansa uh, black letter font which is really really nice recently added this one as well and now we're gonna go for a kind of brighter orange style we're gonna do the letter K again kind of like you know we're making like a little letter uh, for our brand of course as Kittle we're gonna keep it with the letter K uh, just to kind of give this a little bit of interest and what I'm gonna do is uh, make this really big and send it to the back because I think it looks really cool kind of behind the eyes the way that it comes over like this behind the eyes and then what we'll do is we're gonna give this kind of a uh, vintage etched effect again we're driving home that kind of screen printed style so what I'm gonna do is we could give it some distance uh, to make sure that these lines are a little bit farther away again driving that kind of halftone etched look and then I need to add border weight and then give that fill 
a give the border weight a fill of orange so that way it looks like these strokes are inset right these hatched etched lines are in stroke or are inset like this that's the kind of style that we want again having printed it uh, you know in an old way or screen printing or something like that hey real quick if you're getting value out of this grungy style streetwear tutorial let me know by hitting the thumbs up and then clicking that red subscribe button it just takes a second that way you can know when we upload more tutorials and things like that and then let me know in the comments are you planning to sell streetwear did you start a streetwear brand or something like that or maybe you're doing print on demand you have an etsy or a shopify or something and you're looking to sell this kind of style i'd love to know and i'd also love to know if kittle is going to help you do that so comment down below i'd be interested to know that and let's get back to the tutorial so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through and add more kind of hand-drawn style elements that we have here in Kittle. For example, you see uh, these brush strokes right here, uh, and we also have other elements, you know, stains, brushes, scribbles, things like that, the more hand-drawn effect there. And then what I'm gonna do is add some more text. We're gonna use a different, uh, more hand-drawn script style. We also added a couple of different uh, script, like handwritten script styles that you're gonna wanna go check out for sure in Kittle. Uh, and I'm gonna put the past never happened, uh, future is forever. Again, we're kind of just driving home our uh, super grungy Y2 UK style uh, and then I'm gonna add some filler text here and find a font that I think will work for this which we have this one called Telegraphum, which I think is looks really really cool because it's kind of fading in and out it's really really nice for this and now what I'm gonna do is add some icons that you might commonly see for like washing or instructions or like little branded icons uh, for this specific brand that will tell you different things about you know the the apparel itself or the the style or the cotton or whatever it is that's on this street where we're adding a couple of different these versions of these symbols like a globe and a fist and like you know different things that this uh, brand represents and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in some squares so I'm gonna put these in little squares as icons that are at the bottom here of course this you know this is an element that could be literally at the bottom of your streetwear design or it could be really cool as you know the printed part of a label inside the brand or something like that um, that would also be really neat but this might be something that you commonly see uh, representative of brands like this and now what I'm gonna do is duplicate this box over here on the side and then brand box over here on the side which is a big streetwear thing as you'll see this uh, box with text in it so we're gonna go with Kittle of course with this very streetwear style font called Beelzebub and then we're gonna basically widen out a little bit again another common thing that you might see for streetwear is the widening you know widening the letter spacing in between and then I'm gonna use Babus New for this one made with Kittle again very reminiscent of the style and then once we are feeling pretty good about that the next thing we need to do is add texture that's really gonna bring it home and I'm gonna add you I'm gonna show you a cool way to add texture as like a bleated effect so now if we go down here we have photocopy textures as well as a couple other head textures we just added so this is gonna give you a really cool effect for example if I clicked this one it's extremely extremely convincing it shows you a really nice kind of washed threshold look and then if we click alpha mask what's really cool about alpha mask is that if you're familiar with how that works uh, this is going to basically bleed through basically erase everywhere that there is color it's basically subtracting the texture from the design which gives you a really really cool printed effect now you could go through and you could select a couple of different versions of these to see how it works and to see which one you like but I like this one I think this one is gonna give you such a cool effect when it's printed on a hoodie or a t-shirt so here is our finished design you can see how this would look like full on the back of a hoodie just like this all done done in Kittle and ready to go. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.